Right, back on the uh, dig permission. Um, dug my uh, first target. It's a bit grotty, but uh, don't know. It's uh, probably half penny sort of size, but uh, can't see anything on it. But there you go. There's the first one. Right, my next uh, target out of there, and uh, two items in one hole. One is this. I think it's just a bracket of something. See, like two nail holes, and then this. Uh, I don't know if it's a coin. Oh, I'll tell you what, it hits brickle. I just snapped a piece off. If it, if it was a coin, it's le it's now even less. Um, but it's brickle as hell. But uh, can't see anything on it. But anyway, there you go. Next find. See you in a bit. Right, my next uh, coin. Nothing too special. An old fight. Um, Actually, sorry, it's an old 10 pence piece, look. Here we go, see it next. Right, next coin, pound coin, all modern. Right, and I'll tell you why. It's because I'm detecting underneath a uh, rope swing from a tree. But anyway, there you go, see you in a bit. Right, just found a common boil. Alfie's gonna do the business for me. Go on then, let's see what we've got. Something green in there, isn't there? Yeah, I can see the shit there. Yes. Oh, what's that? It's not a coin. It's not a coin. Oh, it's looking interesting now. Yeah. Well, if you're seeing off, that's a broke. Oh, look at that. I bet you haven't got one of them, have you? <laughs> do, do you want this one? Right, anyway, there you go. It looks like a rim off something. Copper. Right, see you in a bit. <laughs> right, my next find is this. As you can see, look, it's been squashed. It's, it used to be round. Uh, feeling over the top of there, it feels like wires, like a mesh. So what I think it probably was, it was probably off something like an oil lamp or something like that. Yeah, the, so something like that with a mesh over the top. But uh, don't hold me to that. Anyway, just got that mesh there. But uh, there's the imprint there, look. So anyway, that's what I think it probably is. It's copper anyway. Right, see it next one. Right, my next find is this here. Uh, I think it, uh, I think it's plated because looking at the end of there, it looks, it don't look silver like the bowl does. But it's a part of a spoon, look. Uh, found from there. Uh, so anyway, there you go, next find, bit crushed, but there you go. See you in a bit. Right, my next target from down there under a tree. Right, open it together, a coin ball. Oh, see the edge of a coin? Uh, I think it's just going to be a modern penny. Yes, it is, but anyway, there you go, modern penny. Right, just so... Uh, the coin meister junior knows this is coin number five <laughs> we're having a little competition he's got one coin so far uh normally is uh, such good luck uh, i don't stand a chance but anyway there you go look at that for an imprint right to the next see you in a bit right my next find i don't know if it's anything that's uh too important but uh copper and uh it looks like it's been made to a certain shape i don't know if someone's made a, a knife handle or something but uh anyway there you go that's the next find from there right see you a bit right i've dug my next target out i've dug one two three plugs and with this 17 i'll be honest with you i was struggling to find this right but anyway i've shown coin meister what i found and this is it i'm buzzing because i've found a, a, a silver coin for ages so it's queen victoria 1888 and it's a shilling pretty worn on the side but it's uh, pure silver nice find all the same right see you in a bit well my next uh, find it's uh, coppery it's got uh, a bit of a thread on it there and something coming through there. I haven't got a clue what it is, but anyway, there you go. Next find. 
Right, just dug this out, it's quite a decent signal, 1238. I'm uh, going to dig it with you. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely in the uh, clump. One second. Alright, let's see if we can find it. And there we are. It's uh, looks like brass. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's one of them no idea things. Blow me neck. What the heck's that? Um, right. Anyway, there you go. That's what it was. All right. See you in a bit. Welcome to the roundup. Uh, a few bits from today's hunt that I went out with the uh, Coinmeister and Coinmeister Junior um, over at Clangevney. This is the site where the uh, dig was, and uh, we managed to uh, secure uh, secure the permission after the dig was over. But anyway, just a um, probably what a three-hour hunt between me and Neil and uh, Alfie. So anyway, here's a few bits. Uh, found this spoon. I thought it might be um, silver, but putting the acid on there, it's gone amber, which means it's plated. Um, found uh, this thing here. It looks like uh, somebody has purposely made that, but for what, I don't know. Bit of copper, bit of lead, 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 and a bit of lead. That's iron, but... Um, it looks interesting, so anyway, I picked it up. Um, got a button, about uh, half pence size. Don't know what that is. This here, I thought it was a um, coin. I can't see anything on it, but um, it's got just a round disc of copper. That was in the same hole with it. <coughs> um, this, I think, is off a um, lantern. It's got like a mesh. It's been squashed. Uh, don't know what that is. Bit of uh, copper again with a um, iron bolt going through it. Right, bit of silver. I haven't had a uh, decent bit of uh, silver for a while, except for that tiny bit I got off my other permission. But uh, Queen Victoria, uh, 1888, very worn look, but uh, silver all the same. Now then, on this one, I uh, actually came across something which is quite amazing. The Coinmeister was there, he's filmed it, uh, he's got some photos for you Pete to have a look at. And uh, anyway, what it was, we got a signal and we went down and had a look in the hole and what we actually found was this piece of lead. So anyway, just about to fill it back in and I uh, got I had Neil's pinpointer and we put it back down the hole and we got a signal. Anyway, by the time we... Um, finished this is what we found here ready it's under here and this is all out of one hole in one clump right all old rings uh, that's just absolutely amazing so I guess you could say that is an odd but uh, the landowner wants to have a look at them and I guess I'm gonna have to consider doing the right thing and take it to the archaeological archaeological uh, people and see what they want to do with them but uh, I'll be honest with you I'm feeling a bit rejected with them because me and Neil actually um, discovered some finds in the hole where we was digging and to be quite honest with you they've not been in touch to tell us what they are they've not uh, you know all they want is someone to find them yeah after that they're not bothered so feeling a bit de dejected as a metal detectorist and so Neil is as well. But uh, anyway, yeah, it makes me wonder yeah, why we bother. But anyway, look at that lovely, eh? Some of them have got a um, pattern on, but it, uh, yeah, quite honestly, I don't know how to go about cleaning without destroying it. So I think I'll just leave them as they are. But uh, there you go. So we've got six rings there. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not. And uh, hopefully be doing another one very soon. Right, see you now. Bye for now.